Jay-Z and Beyonce kind of shifting in the next three years. So by 2027, they no longer wield the public power that you think they do. And they will have to approach you in a different way. Now, on an energetic level, what I'm being told about Jay-Z is that he has investments in all kinds of mind technology, a.k.a. Elon Musk. But I'm not sure it's through Elon Musk. It's in other countries, other kinds of capital venture towards the controlling of the human mindset. He has allowed portions of what he chooses to do in his life into a consciousness center where people can tap into being him. So it's almost what? a robotic stance where you yourself can put the goggles on and learn how to live Jay-Z's life. He's agreed to do this. So he's kind of a captive, but in a public form and has no cognitive or conscious awareness of this. That's a weird thing to say, but that's just the way, that's the energy I'm picking up on. No conscious awareness of what's going on around him. Also, keep in mind, keep in mind, they are very much, and, and here's what I'm getting. I am getting both Jay-Z and Beyonce because, see, he procures her out there. He is her handler, mm. and he is the one that pushes her out there public, and then he profits off her. So mm. we're looking at, and I don't care how much talent you think they have. I don't care how much talent you think they have. She was chosen for him. It is a karmic thing looking at their chart, but he was. she was chosen for him in order to help him get where he needed to go. So she's the muse, but let's use this in a different way. Sometimes we use the word muse in the terms of profiteering off of it. He's very aware of entertainers, male and female, where he needs to go to keep his money coming in and what he's actually selling. Now this connects him to R. Kelly, high Whoa. level pimping and pandering for the music Whoa. industry through the trafficking. Whoa. So according to her, Jay-Z is pimping Beyonce. Am I the only one like this? Is the first time I've ever heard of this before. You got to let me know in the comments. Have you heard of this before? This is the first time I'm hearing this type of stuff that Jay-Z is pimping her. That like he's her handler. He, she can't go nowhere without him type thing. Like, really? Wow. My camera cut off when I said trafficking. Through the trafficking of human beings, okay? So I'm going to put that out there in that fashion. You, we, you, me, them, we are going to start seeing through the veil when it comes to Jay-Z. And within three years, public favor is removed. Now, he's not mm. the first one to go down behind P. Diddy. But he's a close second. So it's a combination that's coming after him. And when they take him down, they're going to take Beyonce down behind him. Ooh. And it's going to start crumbling. Okay, so it's the next three years. On an energy level, what this is, is it is, understand, when you do um, occultist high level, and Jay-Z is a high level occultist, as is Beyonce, wow. when you're involved in high level entity conjuring. Oh, this rabbit hole goes so deep, y'all. I just discovered that Jay-Z, while he's married to Beyonce, had a mistress called Kathy White, and he got her pregnant. She was going to go public with the news, and guess what? Now she's a goner. I think it was the next day that she had said that she was going to go public with the news, and she uh, had an aneurysm. There's so many unexplained deaths. So many. And Jay-Z, Diddy, and so many others, their hands are bloody red and dirty, and they need to go down. All those bottles of lube and baby oil. But the thing is, I don't know why we're shocked. Because remember when they tried to write Kanye off as mad? But he mm. told us. He told us who Diddy was. He told us who Jay-Z was. And he told us who Beyonce was. If you actually mm. remembered correctly. He told us the truth so good and proper. They had to say that man is mad. That man, he has lost the plot. But he told us that Diddy was head honcho. The Epstein of Hollywood. Mm. Kanye told us. Kanye told us so much so that they literally done all in their power to make that man be insane to the people. He wasn't insane. He was woke beyond his times. Mm. A phenomenon. He knew. He knew exactly who his counterparts were and he tried to tell us 
but y'all made him look mad. Right? That lawyer, he needs to be fired. Matter of fact, he needs to be added on to the federal charges. What do you mean? Whoa. What do you mean Cassie and Diddy was exchanging DV? That man slumped her and dragged her across the floor and we saw. We saw that video come out. What are you talking about? I want somebody who's going to rise up Kim Porter's book because now all we need is Kim Porter's mm. book to, to, to finish him off, literally. Mm. And I just believe that in this taking down Diddy, Jay-Z, Beyonce, and a few other people going to be looking real strange at the end of this. Asha, Meek. Um... I can't even hold you, pause. Uh, it really kind of affected me. You know, like, number one, that's all, you know, in the algorithm. That's all you're going to hear is every single day, all day long, this is all people are going to talk about. But, you know, in, in hip hop, there's like a brotherhood. And a lot of us have known each other for like, you know, 30 years since we were like basically children. Mm. And he's one of those dudes like, you know, regardless to whether I agreed with who he was or what he did and how he did things. In hip hop, we were still brothers. Like I still consider his sons my nephews. Mm. You know, regardless to what he do, his sons will always be good with me. You know, if, if you know, hopefully everything's cool with that as well but or children in general and that's how i feel about everyone from my kind of generation that graduated from that era of hip-hop so it was like damn i knew how much this was number one going to affect the face of hip-hop because mm -hmm. he's been a pillar for the last 30 years there was no hip-hop without certain people being mentioned mm. And, you know, I'm proud to say that I'm one of those people, but he's definitely one of those people. And even though I've can always like somewhere there's always been a competitive nature between him and I, I've always um, admired the fact that he'll do anything. Like when he ran the marathon, I was like, I wouldn't have did that. Like he, he definitely is turned up. Paul, like he has a lot of energy. And um, I admired the fact that he was able to stay relevant. Yeah. over and over again i couldn't understand it i'd be like how do you get that deal he always gets those deals you know i was definitely transparent i was definitely sort of pissed off because i felt like um i started that thing with the, the vodka and the liquor and the arming deal I, I remember having a conversation with him um at the mtv awards and him asking me like how'd you do that blah 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 and he went and did it a different way and made a lot of money from it. But I was like, in my brain, I was like, he's always copying. You know what I mean? Like, and it's sometimes I'd wonder, like, how does he get that deal? Like, I have a great idea, but he could always get the deal to connect him to pop culture where he could get that volume and be so embraced. You know, but I'd be like, but I'm gonna still do it my way. And I don't care, like, we've had conversations like, yo, bruh, you know, it's kind of similar ideas, but yeah, but I do them better than you, hey, maybe you do. But I, you, you don't celebrate that kind of thing no matter what, mm. you know? And um, I started to think, because, like, every day something new comes out. So I'm, I'm thinking, I'm wondering in his brain, like, in this very moment, would he give up everything, all the money, all the history he's made with music, all of it, just to be regular and be free? Mm. Would he erase everything? Like, was it worth it? The 30 years of mm. rolling, you know, to, to, if he knew 30 years ago that he had 30 years to, to just do whatever he wanted um, and be well-respected and celebrated and, and, and do all these impactful things that, that have affected hip hop and the trajectory of hip hop. And, and, you know, now I'm seeing that, you know, he had a lot more power than I knew. So he was affecting everything. And, and, you know, 
would he would he be like, yo, I, I give it all up just so I could just be with my kids every day. Mm. And when I saw him at the park with his kids, I was like, yo, that's what I do every day. You know, that, that's what I walked away from because the ultimate wealth. I, I just always wanted a family, mm. you know, and my mom died when I was young. I lost my girl um, at the time, fairly young. You know, every I, I, I haven't been in a functional relationship with any of, of my children's mothers. It's been war mm. before they were born. I, and, and all I wanted was just to just a peaceful life, be able to just pick my son up from school and or my child, my daughter, you know, go to all their activities, you know, take them to school, just grow with them, you know, and, and be with a woman that I love and be peaceful and grow to get you. Know, all those things was my dream. And. The crazy thing is the only way I was able to get to that dream was to detach from all of that stuff. Mm. Mm. I would never have gotten the ultimate dream had I mm. stayed around, mm. you know? That's so I, I just, you know, I, I know the kind of guy that he is and he's used to being a free spirited individual. And then I, I start to reflect like, yo, how did you avoid all that? How did you just know to stay away, you know? And it's just because, like, regardless of what, whether what he was doing was illegal or not, that will be judged in a court of law. But what we do know was he was doing some loose shit. Like, there were actual freak-off parties, and there were environments and things that were going on that I personally would never, ever, ever do, be around. And I think people know me, and hearing about these things actually happening people would be like, now I understand why Dame really didn't get along with certain people. Mm. And then I'm thinking, mm. yo, this shit was really going on? Like, cause there, it seems like there's like the general party and then there's the VIP party where all the elite, the, the, so the elite people have to be knowing about what's going on and they're mm. still there, whether they're participating mm. or not. That's a secret. Mm. And it must, that kind of secret because it, it, you know, like you, I heard things, but not that crazy. Not the things that have been admitted to doing, like, you know, not, not pause baby oil crazy. Like, I didn't know, you know, like it's just something that was unfathomable to me. The fact that that didn't get out, that means there's a, that's a very secret club. Yeah, yeah. Whoever's holding that secret, they yeah. hold it tight to the vest. Yeah. And I'm like, what other secrets, like, what deals were made Ooh. in those free calls? Because Ooh. a lot of the deals that happen, happen in social environments. That's why people go to the club and they hang out all day. Bankers hang out with bankers all day to get deals done. Like I would go to Tripiani's and I'd watch, we'd make, you know, billion dollar deals over a bottle of vodka. And it was all based on, you know, that, that hanging out and that trust. And you would throw your man an alley-oop because you hung out. Mm. If you get into that secret club, and you're able to hold a secret so tight to the vest, you know a lot of business deals are getting made there. Mm. So now I'm like, damn, I might understand why certain people had certain opportunities, mm. certain deals. You Keep know, talking. and and if they weren't participating, they were there. And they didn't leave. And they repetitively came back. Mm. So I don't think people knew or maybe they were, or they did know, but I, you know, I'll give people the benefit of doubt. Like, I don't think they thought it was illegal, but it was loose. And as far as moral compass, morally, that, that would not be the environment that I would want my kids around. Mm. I would want to be around. I wouldn't want to do no business in that environment. Could you imagine me going to one of those parties and walking in that room? Would, would, would I be like, y'all know, where's the pause button? I'd be like, pause, pause, pause. I'd be like, you're in here, you're in here, y'all bugging. Well, I, I didn't know. That type shit. They know that right. I'm not tolerant or, you know, I don't look the other way. I'd be getting out the way. But I might not be so silent. I, I might not be able to keep that secret of what I saw. You know? So I'm like wondering, like, damn. And I, I, I'm, I'm wondering if people understand what, what the buckshot of another person's karma Ooh. is. 
um, with a, with a, with a shotgun, you Ooh. shoot it in pellet spray. Right. So you might hit your target, but the, the pellets are going to hit whoever's around. Right. So you might not meant to be getting shot, but you're going to catch a couple of a, a, a spray of those bullets. That's he what talking. karma's like. So if you are around somebody that may be doing something immoral and you might look the other way or might help facilitate it, karmically, you may be considered accountable. Kicked off. I remember him, R. Kelly had a uh, double CD, Best of Both Worlds. Now watch this. It's funny how Jay Z, inadvertently, he's tied to it inadvertently. Now let's say this. Let's say uh, uh, R. Kelly, the stuff that he's uh, accused of, or I guess convicted of, right? Jay Z was with him. Mm. Now I'm not saying Jay Z did not with him. Maybe it was just business or whatever. But I'm just saying Jay Z was with him. And this, and then you see this picture right here. So I mean, these guys. My point. My point is saying all that's this. These guys are around each other. No matter how you want to phrase it, no matter how you want to put sugar on it, you know, you know, no matter how you want to do it, you know what I'm saying? I, I mean, like I say, leave your feelings at the door. See, mm. my conversation is different because I don't care about your feelings. I don't care who you attach to. I don't care about none of that. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I really don't. So these guys was affiliated and, and, and in concert with each other on multiple sit on the bed at night, no homo, no, just, just don't get close to the bed, don't get close to the bed, but it's just like, yo, we want to thank you for hosting the thing, man, man, you, you, it's been a pleasure, you didn't have to do it, you did No, no, I definitely didn't have to do it, I, I definitely didn't have to, uh, first and foremost, I'm not giving the bed, uh, you know, shout out to him and what he did, I'm just gonna, if we can, just, let's, let's just put the camera like this way, just so we're not, I don't want my shot to even, like, I don't want it to come close to the bed. Did he ain't like that. I, sh I should look like he fresh off a goddamn plane. I should, I should, I should. Fresh off the guard stage. That's my brother right here from day one. We used to wake up and, I mean, damn, pause, but like, just out. I mean, I mean, back in the days when he was like 10 and I was a little bit older, his older brother, we used to fight over the, over the frosted flakes. You know what I'm saying? Before pause was invented. You know what I'm saying? But it's my brother for real. We used to actually wrestle off of the, off of the frosted flakes because he used to always get up early. Now he's one of the richest stars in the world. And I'm yo, like, what the what did Puff just say? Nobody's going to acknowledge this with me. Puff just said we used to wrestle over the frosted like flakes. And we're streaming live. Look. That was stupid. Listen, that was stupid. Listen, we're having a good time. Yo, are you usher made in the Hey, yo. I'm a thug. At the end of the day, I kill man. No, listen, at the end of the day, I kill right know me, man. Listen, in the streets, did it there this weekend. Uh, F.I. I don't even, I don't even feel comfortable with you, my bad. Hold on, hold on. Can you go get some girls? Can you get me in the bedroom with some girls? Let, 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 let's get some girls up here, please. Hey, yo, can you move out the way? I want to give you a proper introduction. Go get some, go get some girls. Go get some. <laughs> Matter of fact, why the girls come? Hey, yo. He got a list Check this out. No homo. No homo. Come here, man. Hey, yo. Kevin, come here. No homo. We're going to have a contest. You know, we're going to have a contest. We're going to get our breath first because your breath is stinking sometimes. Diddy literally indicating sleeping with them. Imagine what's going on when the camera cut off. And we're going to go back and forth. Uh oh. <laughs> uh oh. Uh, you know, first of all, make make sure my mic is on. Uh, before before I even get into to trashing Diddy, you know, I'm gonna acknowledge him on a special day. I bought the album. You know what I'm saying? Well, you I, didn't ask, I didn't ask you for nothing. No, you didn't. I didn't ask you for nothing first. Yes, yes. I downloaded. It. I didn't you, go to the store because I'm lazy. I thought you said you bought it. You ain't say you downloaded. Get your download, story right. Download you downloaded. You bought it. You lying. You lying. You lying. You lying. You lying. He's lying. You didn't even buy it yet. Listen. He's lying. Listen. Listen. Yo, come in here, man. Come in here, man. Come in. Yo. Listen, listen. Uh, yo, come in here. No homo, no homo. We're going to get some ladies in here, though, but we're going to have, we're going to make sure our breath is fresh. No, say pause. Say pause. Pause, pause, pause. pause, pause, pause. Don't acknowledge this. There's nothing to do with me, Puff. Nothing to do with me, Puff, right now. Let's, hold on. Let's get some ladies in here. There's nothing to just bypass all that. Bypass. Right. Put the yeah. kid in the past. No, I'll, I'll go first. You know, no, no. It's a movement. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely it's go take a swig of the ring. And for real, you the comedian, so go light on me tonight. It's my night. Don't, 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 don't kill me. No, I'm definitely going to kill you. Uh, but, but I'm right now, start off. Like I said, it's your day. You know, uh, you, you got a lot of people walking around with dirty money. Yeah, I, I, I want to say I'm sorry. No, no, no. Dude, listen, okay, um, security, 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 security. Um, please help me out for a second. Okay, listen. First of all, if you don't get this failed UFC fighter out of here, no, dude, I'm just kidding. It's all jokes, man. No, no, don't say. Listen, you got a taser? Listen, 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 listen I thought he, I thought he really had a taser.
Let's go in and let's really. Hey yo, hey yo, check it out. Check it out. We getting so much money out here. I don't really feel secure. So you know, no homo. I'm, I'm taking big white people with me everywhere. Big white people with guns is coming with me everywhere. I'm just telling you now. I'm not going nowhere. Security no, guns not supposed to allow it. Diddy is not hiding in no mo. Hey yo, we, yo, we getting the party started. Hey yo, 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 tell her what it's gonna be like. I gotta hey, talk listen, to Cap. Don't, you don't talk, talk to him right now. Uh, listen. Security, just walk by me real quick. Security, can you bring my drink, please? Uh, nothing around here but people with you, as you can see. Hope a little so it is, sweetie. Hey, I'ma take it. <laughs> no, at the Lips Arena, definitely not good. It's gonna take a second. It's gonna take a second to be good. Bottom line, I'm in the nigga house, okay? So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna walk around and I'm gonna show y'all the unexclusive. See, it shouldn't here that he don't want y'all to see. I'm gonna find it. That's what I do. That's what happens when you put a comedian in the room. But right now, look, I'm gonna give y'all a second, tour around, figure out what's going on, enjoy the house the same way I am. I'm gonna go drink this, cause I done f my mouth up with this goddamn Mr. Rain. Cheers to you. No, 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 not yet, not yet, not yet. You, you see, you're messing up. That's your problem. That's your problem. I, I got a, a nice, go get a drink downstairs. We got, and matter of fact, Kevin, come here. Kevin, Kevin, I want you to talk about me as a baby. Come here, man. Hey, hey, there you go. Hey, come on in. Come, come on in here. Come on. There you go. What's your name? What? Okay, Doomsday. Doomsday. Messy. Messy, yes. Messy. The last train to Paris. That's French, baby. For thank you. Yeah, you see it. I, I got my bad thing. Hey, yo, tell them downstairs, just let up girls. Get a girl, strike up a conversation or something. I got my bad thing. Hey, yo, we live? Tell me, we live right now? Okay, check this out. I think they never been to a Diddy party. If you're not dancing, I just got hard. Then you got to go. So security, Don't if you see somebody and they not dancing, <laughs> they got to go. Yep. He said, Period, I just got hard. Point blank. What? Period. Point. Ladies, I need y'all to come in. Ladies, security, if they ain't dancing, they got to go home. If they ain't dancing, they got to go home. So you made the right here. Check it out. I'm ready now. I'm ready. Let's go. Thank you, thank you. Let's go, let's go, let's work. Yeah. Yeah. This is not a control. I'm in the mix of sexy right now. What's up, Mike? Get a look at it, people. Baby. Come on, hey, man. Let's get these ladies over here. Let's do it. I'm about to ball out of control right now. I just want to say before I look at you crazy, I love Jesus. I don't know. <laughs> nah, Kevin, you don't love no Jesus. Yeah, sure, you love the devil. If your name ain't Sean Combs, no you're male, you got to take your hat off. It's a hey. little bit disrespectful to be in my house yep. with your hat on, okay? Uh -huh. All y'all with yeah. these hot ass scudies on. Hey, yo, yeah. for real, for real. These hot ass beanie caps. Get the beanie caps off. Hold on. Shouts out to Diddy's sons who look nothing like them. Oh, come on, man. Come on, dude. Don't nobody want to see that shit. We got a lot of stars in the building right now. First and foremost, myself. Uh, let's let's uh, acknowledge that. Is that Real fat? quick, uh, before we get to pleasant, shout out to the fat. Yeah. <laughs> the eraser Fabulous. On his um, hey, Puff, look. Real quick. Uh, I want to ask some people. Hey, yo, about, for real, okay? if you hit me that hard again. <laughs> listen, dude, listen. Okay, first of all, get your body together. Work out. Hey, listen. Wow. I'm um, Trey Song. Wow. Who's here somewhere? Um, I'm right here, Puff. Oh, 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 he's here? I Where is he? Uh oh. Yeah? Come on in. It's Trey Songs, y'all. Make some noise for Trey Songs in the building, ladies and gentlemen. Straight from the garden, ripping it down. Yes, yeah, hot. Press. Nice yeah. Shit. I got home. Right. You should say Diddy on it. Hey. What's <laughs> that? Uh, shout out to Mega Trey in the building. Whatever. Uh. <laughs> You know, her just came from the garden. Great. Yeah, it's good. Sold out show. Whatever. Yeah, it was cool. That's great. But we here uh, to talk about last yeah, train yeah, Paris. Yeah, Let's talk about last pass real quick, Trey. Uh, it's Mike Pat. Give me this. All right. I think, I think you, okay, yeah, yeah, take this one. Oh, okay, there it is. All right, uh, Trey, you got a track on the album. Yes, I heard the love. track. Uh, you know, I can honestly say, I'm a fan of the track. It was, it was, a, it was a very positive track. You did your thing on it. How was... <laughs> How? <laughs> yeah, 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 my shit was positive. It was positive. I mean, you just, you just lost for words to that. Why, why don't you tell me? Why don't you tell me a stand up or something really positive track? Shit. No, no, very educational, very educational track. Uh, how? Be honest with you, man. In the studio, you know, working with Puffy is.
No. Will you stop? Well, fix the mic, dude. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, see, see. Set the rules. No. Get it done. Yeah. Send it to me. No, that's this. Yeah, shut up, shorty. Take this. Is this a little call him right, shorty? Check. Okay. All right. Yo, stop giving me different microphones. Pause. I'm serious. This is getting weird. All right. Look. Uh, Trey, on top of that. Okay. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. We need to pass some Ciroc out over there. I see y'all over there. DJ Clue, we want to thank you for being one of our first supporters, man. What's going on? It's official. We're here. Dirty Money album release party. Last train to Paris. It's crazy. Uh, I decided to switch scenes. It got too hectic down there. I'm up here in the hot tub uh, doing the official. You know what I'm saying? My Trey's up here. The fam's up here. You know, when you, when you have a scene like this, you got to bring bosses with you. As you see, it's female friendly. We got a ladies and female. She's butt ball. Uh, that's what I call it, raw dog. Uh, I'm <laughs> raw jumping, dog. I'm not jumping to tub myself. Uh, you know, once, once everybody gets out, you know, just me and the lady. This is my scene. I'm used to this type of thing. Uh, you know, doing what I do best. Oh, 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 oh her, did the camera catch that? Got the camera. Her hair oh, caught on got fire. The, got the camera off. We had technical difficulties last time, but I'm going to tell you something. When you with troopers, <laughs> her we hair had troopers and we fix situations. We're up here. Everybody's safe. Uh, you know, no, this was here. We had Trigger Trey on the scene. Uh, honestly, uh, second degree black belt in, uh, first aid. Uh, right now, also my man Terrence, uh, BT 106 Park. He's in the Wow, building. everybody in there. Shout out to Terrence for a very small waistline on his pants. Listen, we're, we're really right now, listen, what we're doing is unbelievable. <laughs> no, no, T, T, no, no, listen, listen. What we're doing, what we're doing is unbelievable up here. A security guard describes exactly what he saw at Diddy's parties. I distinctly remember going to a Diddy party, all the waitresses topless. They serving you, everybody topless, you feel me? Like, he got uh, dancers in cages, people walking around with lions on leashes, tigers on wow. leashes. I've seen this with my own two eyes, see what I'm saying? And it was getting so weird in the party, I'm like, man. Bobby Valentino was the person I was bodyguarding there. See what I'm saying? He pussy don't even really excite me. I'm like, well, what you mean? But he there. What you mean? <laughs> On bro, post grave. I said, what you mean? So he got two girls with him. So I'm thinking to myself, like, damn, hold on. These might not be normal girls. Sure enough. Now he say, man, take my girl to the bathroom. I'm like, okay. We walk into the bathroom. You feel me? She go into the men's bathroom but that's that's not all the way crazy because it's one bathroom packed you feel me people might do that you know what i'm saying so people start swarming the door so i step inside the bathroom though she's standing at the urinal dress lifted up i'm like damn oh man. okay that's how they coming this thing Stay weird y'all going Two, 24 hours before the raid, Kim Kardashian decides to unfollow Diddy, right? Well, come to find out, this person by the name of Lou Taylor is apparently Diddy's manager. Uh, can you believe Kim Kardashian is being exposed for allegedly being Diddy's accomplice and paying off his partners? Chili, mm. just when we thought 2024 couldn't get any crazier, the universe pulls a fast one on us and drops another bombshell, making us question everything we thought we knew about our favorite celebs. Fans mm. have been suspicious of Kim's involvement in Diddy's affairs for a while now, and it seems like we finally have some evidence to back it up. New information suggests that not only was Kim aware of Diddy's questionable activities, but she also allegedly aided him in covering up the evidence and compensating his victims in exchange for a cut of the profits Ooh, bruh if all these people are involved with this and have to go to court this is gonna be crazy Girl, you better buckle up for this roller coaster of drama and hold on to your edges because this situation is absolutely bonkers. Uh, did Kim really conspire with Diddy to have Kanye West committed to a mental institution so they mm. could swindle him out of his money? Chili, it looks like it's game over for Kim because Diddy is snitching and he is snitching hard. So let's break down this messy tea. And as look, they tried to medicate me. They, I was exhausted. They wrongly diagnosed me. And they, 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 when I asked them how much lithium did you want to put me on exactly it took them four days to answer because they were embarrassed about the amount mm. right and i refused to take this right you understand that if i had taken the medication i would not be here and it would have been oh, whoa was, he mm. was deeply troubled we miss him we love his music though well they would have britney spears too 
I mean, look at they, they were the Michael Jackson. Or, or worse, yeah. But so <laughs> look, at, look, at what they did, look at what they did to Britney. When she went in, she was tired, she was exhausted, yeah. she was in a bad way. But 10 years of that medication wrecked her brain. So it looks like Diddy is trying to pull down as many people as he possibly can because tell me why this man has been snitching on everybody and they mama. Y'all know how there have been multiple reports about how footage from his parties and freak offs has been leaking for the past couple of days? Well, word on the streets is that he is allegedly behind the leaks. And now he just leaked footage of Kim Kardashian. And it is very, very bad. Hey folks, remember when Cat Williams dropped that bomb about Diddy not being the only celeb in hot water? Well, it seems like he wasn't kidding, because a bunch of them are getting dragged down with him. And guess who's caught up in the whirlwind? None other than Kim Kardashian. But hold on to your hats, because the accusations against her are wild. Word on the street is she might have been helping Diddy smooth over some rough patches by allegedly paying off his accusers and, uh, special friends. Looks like Kim's got more than just contouring on her plate these days. Rumor has it her bank balance isn't looking so hot, and it's becoming harder to brush off. I've seen Diddy have to hire extra security, almost the military, to stop people from wanting to scale the wall to get in his house because on the other side of that wall is Beyonce, Jay-Z, and every big star you want to know. If you've been keeping up with the recent Hollywood scandals, you know Jason Lee loves to stir things up. But this time, he has got some evidence that can destroy Diddy's entire legacy. Well, Jason Lee is famous for finding the juiciest scandals and sharing them with the world. He has gone after everyone from Hollywood celebrities to famous rappers in the industry. And now, he's focusing on Diddy. But before we get into the details of Jason's claims, let's remember his past successes. Remember when he spilled the beans on Beyonce and Jay-Z's rumored marriage troubles, or when he revealed the truth about Cassie's lawsuit against Diddy. Jason Lee doesn't just talk, he brings the receipts, and that's why people pay attention to what he has to say. So without any further ado, let's get into Jason Lee's shocking claims against Diddy. In a recent statement, Jason made it clear that he's not loyal to the hip-hop mogul. He says he's got insider info from reliable sources within Diddy's inner circle, who have been giving him some pretty disturbing evidence. So, what's Jason accusing Diddy of? Well, he's claiming that Diddy is trying to blame his own sons for some of his secret crimes that he has committed in his Whoa. past. This bombshell has rocked Diddy's Whoa. world, painting a not-so-great picture of the rap star. Whoa. But Jason isn't just talking out of his hat, he says he's got proof to back up his claims. Interestingly, he's got receipts that show Diddy's involvement in extremely illegal activities and his attempts to throw his kids under the bus. What? It's a shocking revelation that has made people question just how deep Diddy's past goes. What? But for Jason, this isn't about drama, it's about holding powerful people responsible for their actions. He's ready to take on Diddy no matter how big of a deal he is. And with the evidence he says he has, it looks like he's gearing up for a showdown with one of hip-hop's heavyweights. If Diddy is guilty of the crimes he is being accused of, he might be facing jail time very soon. And if Jason's evidence holds up, it could have serious consequences for Diddy and his friends. Now, let's go back and take a look at Jason Lee's history of stirring the pot with his previous blackmail incidents. So, this isn't the first time Jason has found himself in hot water for exposing secrets and making allegations against Hollywood stars. Recently, he tried to shoot his shot at Beyonce. I know you have two phones, Quincy. Oh, there you go. That's what I love. Yeah. Just glow. So proud of you, Just Glow. Look at that. Got all the phones. Do I have everybody? You know, the people don't. You you know them. I know, but the people don't. Okay, so, so I'm asking for people. <clears throat> we'll stay in some. We'll stay in some. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> <laughs> On the witch yard. <laughs> this nigga don't go to sle
So when Homeland Security raided his homes, they found evidence that his freak offs lasted for days. From this clip, Carisha knew, and she was down with all the freak offs. She was down for not going to sleep. And it's crazy because when she did that Carisha Please podcast, where she supposedly told it all, she was saying how, you know, she wasn't really saying nothing bad about him. She basically was standing beside him without standing beside him. And, you know, that just shows me that she approved of it all. Mm. And she was down with the nastiness. And I just, I think of her so differently now. Because it's just like, damn girl, what was you really doing? What was you really doing for the bag? Like, this is a fucking crazy world. Celebrities be doing a lot of weird shit. For real. In the world. Love, love, love. P. Diddy, Lube. Good morning. Good morning. Search the. Really means to live life golden. It will go.